if, if we if we fail to eradicate Argentine ants from Norfolk Island, there's a huge risk to the, the biodiversity. It really does undermine the future success of other conservation programs, such as the Green Parrot Recovery Program. If they were to make it to nearby Phillip Island, we have the Lord Howe Island skink and Lord Howe Island gecko. They'll in, invade the nests, and once, once those reptiles hatch, the, the ants will just swarm in and, and consume them. Argentine ants are very invasive and very aggressive. They're known for invading nests of seabirds and forest birds. And actually, they can drive away the, the nesting adults and can consume the, the chicks once, once they hatch. They displace other invertebrates, particularly native ant species. Ants are quite an important pollinator of plants and also seed dispersers. They're a food source for birds and other animals. So when you replace the diversity of native ants, and invertebrates with one aggressive dominant species, you can really start to upset things from, from the ground up. For, for humans, they can, they can invade homes just like they can invade natural environments. We have stories of, of people waking up in the middle of the night with Argentine ants crawling all over them in their bed. Babies' cots needed bowls of water to be placed under the legs of those to stop ants invading the cot. It's a big impact for the island's tourism. No one wants a hotel room invaded with ants. There's also the impact on the island's horticultural industry. Argentine ants are known to farm aphids and other scale insects because they feed on the honeydew that, that these insects produce. It actually reduces the yield of, of a lot of horticultural crops, especially citrus. And the Argentine Ant Eradication Program didn't start until about 2008. And there were a lot of locals concerned about this, but it took a couple of years before any action was actually taken. The horse can sometimes bolt before we start doing something about it. Unfortunately, that was probably the case on Norfolk Island. The Norfolk Island government decided to start a, an eradication program. The problem we've, we've had here since it started, funding was, was up and down. There was um, periods where funding dried up completely. And of course, with any invasive species, as soon as you take the foot off the pedal, they will, they will bounce straight back, and, and that's what happened. We can continue to bait for Argentine ants on a small scale in perpetuity. But if we can get a large injection of funding early on, that finishes. Approximately a million dollars will get the job done, start to finish. One million dollars for eradicating a species from an island is relatively cheap. We need a large injection of cash up front, do a large amount of baiting in one hit, island-wide, and then we monitor and do top-up baiting as required after that. Here, here on islands, once you get the job done, as long as you have good biosecurity measures in place, the job is done.